Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example is not quite as simple. Even though we went from a straight line function y equals x to a curved function, a quadratic function, y equals x squared. And you would think that for y equals x squared, it would not have to be that difficult to find the arc length from 0, 0.00 to 0 0.11 along the arc. But I have, just in case we're going to need it, the integral of the square root of a squared plus x squared is equal to 1 half times x times the square root of a squared plus x squared plus a squared times the natural log of the quantity x plus the square root of a squared plus x squared. Why do I have that there? Because we're going to need it. So stay tuned and take a look. So first of all, this is the general equation to find the arc length of a curve. It is the integral from a to b, and notice those are x limits from 0 to 1 of the square root of 1 plus the, the, the derivative of the function squared times dx. So here we have the function f of x equals x squared, the derivative is 2x, and the derivative squared is therefore 4x squared. Hold on a moment. Smokey, hey. Stop. Our dog was doing something he wasn't supposed to. All right, continuing on. So we're going to plug that in here. So now we have the arc length L is equal to the integral from 0 to 1, these are x limits, times the square root of, of the square root of 1 plus the derivative squared, which is 4x squared, times dx. And here we're going to need to use the same uh, technique again. We're going to factor something out. We're going to factor out a 4. Of course, when you factor out a 4 out of the square root sign, up comes a 2. So we can write L is equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of the square root, now here I'm going to need 1 over 4 plus x squared times dx, and then if we write it like this, where L is equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of the square root of the 1 half squared plus x squared times dx, now we have it in the exact same form as we have over here. A is 1 half, and we have the x, both of them are squared, and now we realize, okay, this is a very difficult integral to integrate. And here we have what that integral is equal to. So let's write that down then. So we have L is equal to 2 times 1 half. And of course, they're going to negate one another. Times x. Now x is here. Times the square root of a squared, which is 1 fourth plus x squared plus a squared, which is 1 fourth, times the natural log of the quantity x, plus the square root of a squared, which is 1 fourth, plus x squared, like this. Then we have to have the closing brackets. Yes, there we go. And now we simply have to evaluate that from 0 to 1. Of course, these cancel each other out. And now when we plug in the upper limit for, for x, we get the length is equal to 1 times the square root of, this is 1 plus a quarter, which is 5 quarters. And I need the square root symbol in there, all right? So 1 times the square root of 5 over 4 plus 1 quarter times the natural log of 1 plus 5 quarters again. So we have 1 plus the square root of 5 quarters this minus when I plug in the zero the lower limit zero times x is zero zero times anything is zero so I get minus zero minus one quarter times the natural log of zero and zero we have the square root of one quarter like this and then we can close the bracket so I have an opening bracket here well, might as well there we go all right now we simply have to calculate what that is equal to, we can leave it like that, but it's interesting to note that if we had a triangle here for y equals x, we realize that the length would be the square root of 2, which is about 1.414, something like that. I think it's 1.414 if I'm not mistaken. Let me try that again. Let's see here, 2, take the square root, yep, 1.414. 
So since we have a curve here, that curve has to be a bigger number than 1.414. That's at least something we can compare to. And it definitely would have to be smaller than 2 because 2 would be the distance from there to there and then from there to there. So you know that it's somewhere between the value 1.414 and 2. So let's see if we get that here. So we have the length is equal to the square root of 5 fourths. So 5 divided by 4, take the square root of that, we get 1.118. I'll leave it to three significant figures, plus. Here we have uh, 1.118 plus 1. Take the natural log of that and divide by 4. And I get 0 0.188. 0 0.188. Now I'm going to subtract 0 and I'm going to subtract this. Now we take uh, 0.25, take the natural log of that which is a negative number, so that negative number will negate this and becomes positive. So this becomes positive and divide by 4 and we get 0 0.347. 0 0.347, yep. 0.347 and then we add them all up together the arc length is equal to 1.118 plus 0.188 plus 0.347 and I get 1.653 all right let me try one more thing here so we have uh, 1.25 take the square root of that plus 1, take the natural log, and divide by 4. Yep, okay, I just want to make sure I got that right. So close enough, 1.653, and notice we were looking for a number between 1.414 and 2. Sounds like it's reasonable that that would be the correct answer for the arc length. And notice the whole process of finding the arc length is relatively simple until you end up with this integral. Or this, whichever way you want to look at it. You look at it and go, wow, how do I integrate that? And, nor and normally, the integrals you get for to find the arc length are pretty difficult to figure out. So we took the shortcut, we just looked it up. But obviously, uh, if you have to work it out, that is a long integral to determine how to figure out that integral. And we do that on other places in the playlists. So we just wanted to make it simple to give you the idea of how to find the arc length of even a simple function like that. That is how it's done.